very early 30s, about 31, 32, and I just stopped functioning. And my father had a nervous breakdown as well around the same age, and I wonder if it is a genetic thing. So I had to then learn, I'm not able to manage all of that. I have to have like a manageable amount. What's, what's actually you just happening can't to fun- you? Yeah, I mean, Are you for, in bed constantly? For me, yeah, I know, yeah, I mean, I just couldn't function. So I had to sort of phone every, you know, I had to phone everybody that I was working with and I just said, I can't, I can't do anything at the moment. I just have to do nothing. And I just, yeah, it was just basically be at home, eat, you know, eat food. I went to, you know, counselling. I went to, started doing um, cognitive behavioural therapy. I started getting therapy because I just couldn't do anything. That's when I had to make a lot of changes in my life. I had to completely rethink what I was doing. How is that for the family when you're having a breakdown, though? It's scary, isn't it? It's really scary. People don't like it. I mean, my family were actually great. And my dad in particular was was very good with it all because he'd experienced it right. himself at a similar sort of age. But it's scary, it's scary for people. What are panic attacks like? Every panic attack I have seems to be completely different that I never know I'm going to have one before I have one. I'm panicking like I would if there was real real and present danger, but there isn't any real and present danger. Or it can be like I just, like I feel like I go down an existential plug hole. I don't know who I am, what my name is, what I'm doing, where I am. I, li- I literally lose my grip on my own being. One you know, of the big things that is always good is exercise. Always. Always yeah, be yeah. healthy when you're eating. If you're feeling miserable... Drink and drugs and things are terrible for you because yeah. they'll just they just make everything worse. So yeah. so try and stuff those. But exercise is always fantastic. You do a lot of cycling, don't you? Love cycling. See, yeah. I yeah. hate yeah. cycling. Yeah, I can't stand it. Yeah, I yeah. tried it. I cycled from Belgium to London once, which was well, that's uh, more cycling than I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I wonder you hate it. <laughs> I did. I did the. I like the coffee. I like yeah, the coffee. Coffee. Bit. I, I think lo- that's what I really like is the coffee. <laughs> I just love coffee. And what I like is I. I like the outfit. I like the. I like the shorts I'm not with a the pad. No, I like the outfit. I didn't shave my legs. Are you shaving your legs no, for the? I don't, no, I don't. do all that. I tell Why you what not? I do. That's I'm a secret lycra man. I put my lycra on and I put a pair of shorts on over the top. So no. that no one will know I'm wearing lycra. I don't know why I'm wearing lycra because because it's supposed to be aerodynamic. So if I'm doing it to See, wear it under the shirt, yeah. I don't know what's going on. But I can't quite join the Do mammals. It. Brave it, brave oh, it. Because yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I like that. And the other bit I like is I like cycling along and then thinking, oh, I'm a bit peckish, putting my arm round and getting a banana out of there. <laughs> <laughs> 